Hey everybody, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArklandTechsHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Tuesday morning forecast update. Starting out a little bit warmer, one of those signs that our weather pattern is changing today as we do have temperatures in the mid to upper 60s this morning. A flash flood watch just been issued by the National Weather Service for a good chunk of the Arklandtex and uh, still looking at that severe weather threat moving in Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll enjoy one more quiet day, relatively quiet day today. We'll see a few showers and storms out there, but really uh, not too much to get in the way for your Tuesday. Day. So look at uh, what's happening again. Do have a frontal boundary down along the coast there. It's kicked up some rain and a little bit of that is moving in south of Interstate 20 this morning. So there could be a few showers uh, down in those locations and generally it uh, looks like that will be where we see our highest rain chances today. Could see a pop up shower or storm in those areas. But again, don't anticipate any severe weather for your Tuesday. Most of us should make it through the day without seeing any rain, staying dry and uh, another warm day for us as we're starting out in the 60s, even a few low 70s this morning and your wind speeds haven't really kicked in yet, but they'll be out of the south at about 10 miles per hour today. We'll feel breezy at times out there a little bit later this morning and into the afternoon. There are your forecast highs pretty close to what we saw yesterday. As, uh, a lot of us will be into the mid 80s. Uh, most of us into the mid 80s, 86 in Shreveport and 84 your forecast high in Texarkana. So again, the uh, desert southwest low here just kind of meandering across the uh, southwestern corner of the country, basically going to stay out there. What it will do is just kind of kick up these disturbances each day that will bring rain chances into the Arctic. Uh, beginning tomorrow. So we're still anticipating a fairly potent severe weather setup for us uh, as we move through the day Wednesday. See so that enhanced risk has been uh, expanded to include basically the I-20 and I-30 corridors. And uh, we're looking at the potential here for some high wind as the main threat could be a few tornadoes here, uh, large hail as well. And then definitely flash flooding will be a concern for us as we go Wednesday into Thursday as we set up for our next round of heavy rainfall across the region. There's the severe weather outlook on Thursday. Thursday. This will be 7 a.m. and after. Again, we may have a, a second line of storms that does pop up during the overnight hours that could bring mainly some high wind and hail across portions of the region. But uh, isolated tornado, all, always a possibility for us. So we'll go ahead and play through time on Futurecast here. Uh, it's picking up on the rain very well this morning. So uh, again, put a lot of stock into what it's telling us this afternoon that we may see a few showers and storms out there, especially across deep east Texas. And those will kind of wander off to the north here. I do think uh, pretty quiet for us as we go through the overnight hours may have a few few pop-up showers and uh, storms here Wednesday morning, but you'll see that main line of storms uh, making its way in McCurtain County, Northeast Texas. Uh, the same timing that basically Futurecast was showing at times yesterday. So again, that will be our main severe weather threat making its way in perhaps as early as the late morning here uh, down to Texarkana at about 1 p.m. in the afternoon. And then uh, Shreveport really stays ahead of it for a few hours there. And you can see maybe not till the afternoon evening when we'll see things go downhill there. And then those storms will make their way off to the east. And then there's that second line of storms popping up Thursday morning uh, that will bring that additional severe weather threat for us during the day, but future cast really not showing uh, too much. Anticipated rainfall totals really haven't changed much this morning. Uh, this look GFS model here showing us uh, a good four to six inches across the region. We could see some isolated spots uh, even higher than that, perhaps up to eight inches or so, depending on where this heavy rain band set up over the next few days. So the Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch. I-20 and northward, again, some of the areas that did receive the heavy rainfall and uh, probably may see this get expanded further to the south just depending on how much rain we see down here on Wednesday. So uh, again uh, not only the rivers and lakes going to be running high and uh, cresting and flood stage for many of us but we're also looking at uh, street stream flooding, poor drainage area flooding as we go through the day Wednesday and into your Thursday as well. Seven day forecast, not pretty as we get through Wednesday, Thursday the rain continues Friday into Saturday. Good news is uh, it looks like the pattern does show some signs of letting up Sunday, Monday haven't completely taken the rain chance is out yet, but uh, things looking encouraging for us. We will drop into the 70s Friday, Saturday behind the cold front that's bringing some of this rainfall with overnight lows generally staying in the 60s.